Today I'm figuring out Matt Armstrong's secret to getting over 1 million views per video. As a content creator myself, having a successful channel rebuilding cars has always been a goal of mine. But before I go spend thousands of dollars on one to rebuild, it's probably my best interest to see how it's done. And what better way to figure that out than to study someone who has already cracked the algorithm. Matt Armstrong in just a few months has discovered the secret to going viral on YouTube. Maybe it's the way he connects with his audience or maybe it's the cars that he rebuilds. Nevertheless, whatever he has figured out has led to him gaining over 1 million subscribers and getting over 1.3 million views per video. Not to mention, he is also constantly ending up on YouTube trending. So what does Matt Armstrong know about the YouTube algorithm that the rest of us just don't seem to get? Well, to make sure buying my first salvage car doesn't become my worst financial decision, I spent hours researching his strategy for going viral on YouTube, and the things that I discovered are truly shocking. To those who just casually watch his videos, Matt Armstrong's success might just look like he got lucky. But what if I told you there is a lot more going on beneath the surface of his videos, that there's actually a strategy to his uploads. Matt Armstrong is by no means a new creator to YouTube. He's been making videos rebuilding cars for over four years now, but only recently in the past couple of months did he start to blow up. So what exactly did he figure out? Well, if my research is correct, he's discovered a secret three-step formula for going viral on YouTube. Like I said before, it was only recently that he started to average over 1.3 million views per video. Prior to that, he was kind of stuck at averaging about 200,000 views. Don't get me wrong, this is still extremely impressive, but the reason it wasn't millions is because he was only implementing one out of the three steps. If you've ever watched one of Matt Armstrong's videos, then you know he has an incredible way of connecting with his audience. Having genuine quality content is an extremely important step towards growing your subscriber count and getting them to come back. Think of it as the foundation to every successful YouTube video. If your content is boring and unauthentic, your audience won't be interested in subscribing or watching more of your videos. Now, Matt Armstrong realized early on how to engage with his audience, and immediately at the start of his videos, he would explain what the goal is, and he would also explained to his audience the problem he was trying to overcome, giving the video a sense of purpose. Rebuilding this BMW M5 composition has been one of my biggest challenges yet. But today it's about to get that much harder because I need to repair the M5 engine and get it back inside the M5. Another thing he would do to keep his audience engaged is by constantly changing how the video is watched. It's never just one angle. He's constantly jumping from A roll to B roll, time lapses to even voiceovers, creating a constant stimulus for his audience never giving them a chance to get bored. This is what keeps his audience engaged. Using this step over the years was what actually allowed Matt to slowly grow an audience of dedicated subscribers. But it wasn't until he discovered key words and how to title his videos correctly that he got his next big break. Prior to figuring out this next step, Matt Armstrong's titles were actually pretty good. He would use a wide range of verbs to title his videos, which in the eyes of the algorithm is a good technique to use, but there was still something missing. Titling your videos on YouTube with verbs like I bought, I fixed, or fixing or wrapping is important for the algorithm because most viewers turn to the platform to learn something new. That's why the videos that start with verbs and are explaining something or advising something gain the most attention on YouTube. So the next time you're on YouTube, just you know, look around. It's not just Matt that does this. Almost all the successful YouTubers use this technique as well. That's because YouTube videos that go viral aren't random. There's actually steps that you need to take in order to increase your chances of getting that. Now, it wasn't until he discovered titling his videos in series that things really started to pop off, especially in combination with the keyword rebuilding. His content where he was stuck at 200,000 views a video exploded to over 600,000. Something about the keyword rebuilding combined with the series style videos like part one, part two, part three, and part four that is extremely attractive to the YouTube algorithm. This technique allows YouTube to recommend and suggest the next video in series, keeping your viewers on your content, causing it to inevitably snowball. Matt Armstrong was able to pick up on this and immediately made the change to his channel. Almost every single video after his discovery was titled with rebuilding and was part of a series. Having discovered two of the three steps, watch time and audience retention, he was still missing one, and that was click-through rate. What good is having quality content and a good title if no one new even clicks on your videos? Maintaining your audience on YouTube is great, and it's awesome, and you should do it, but if you want to get millions of views, you have to get pushed by the YouTube algorithm to new people and new subscribers. It wasn't until a few months later that Matt Armstrong discovered the final piece to the puzzle. 
your thumbnails are the most important part of getting a viral video. This is the first thing a new viewer sees, and it allows them to get a glimpse into your content. Think of it as the packaging to the best tasting candy bar. If the wrapper is bland and monotone, most people aren't going to buy it, and it surely won't get their attention. How would they know that it tastes the best at first glance? Now, if we scroll back just a few months ago on Matt Armstrong's channel, you'll notice his thumbnails kind of appear like that. Even though his videos were getting views, the thumbnails are dark and monotone. Nobody knew how good his candy bar tastes or what an incredible video lied behind the thumbnail. So what exactly makes for a viral thumbnail and what did he discover? If I compare his old thumbnails to the ones he's using now, you can clearly see the difference. He increased the vibrance and the saturation of the photo, which grabs more of the viewer's attention. It stands out among the thousands that people see on their homepage. He's also color enhanced the grass and replaced the sky, changing the dull trees and grass with bright green ones and adding a beautiful bright blue sky instead of a gray one. He's also not the first person to do this either. Many successful YouTubers use the same technique to blow up their videos. Ignoring these small subtle differences can be the reason your video doesn't get pushed by the algorithm. In one of my college marketing classes, we were taught about the effects colors on ads have on people in the marketplace. There's research that even suggests using blue and green can increase your sales. Now, when applied to your YouTube thumbnail, it can increase your click-through rate. And having a high click-through rate is what gets you pushed by the algorithm. Colors change how we perceive things. Blue is often perceived as trustworthiness and confidence, while green is often associated with friendliness and growth. As soon as Matt Armstrong started implementing the strategy onto his channel, his views went from 500k a video to well over a million. It was the missing piece that he needed. Like I said before, your thumbnail is the most important part. That combined with a good title and quality content is what gets your video picked up by the algorithm. Having a video go viral is not just random. You usually have to hit all three of these markers. Each of these three steps typically correlate with an analytic that you need in order to go viral on YouTube. A good thumbnail gets you a high click-through rate. A quality title gets you a high watch time. And quality content gets you a high audience retention. When all these three steps are combined successfully, then and only then will you have a massive chance that your video will get picked up by the algorithm and go viral. Of course, some people can do this on accident, but usually there needs to be thought put into this, and that's why people can consistently get million plus views a video each time they post. And if my research on Matt Armstrong's channel isn't enough proof for you, then you're in luck because I've taken this experiment one step further. Not only have I done the research on the YouTube algorithm, but I've also applied it to this channel and this video specifically. But since I can't show you the success of this video until later, let me use one of my other videos as an example. And also feel free to look at the views I've gotten on some of my other videos. Now, let's use the first video I made on Matt Armstrong as reference. Given my channel only had about 800 subscribers at the time, the 57,000 views had to come from somewhere other than my channel. And as you can see, over the 480,000 impressions that were made on this video, about 78.3 came from YouTube recommending my content to new viewers. To start, my thumbnail is vibrant and uses engaging colors. As a result, my click-through rate was immediately high, over 14% to be exact. This is key in the very beginning of posting if you want to increase your odds of getting a video pushed by the YouTube algorithm. Now, Google states half of all channels and videos on YouTube have an impressions CTR click-through rate that can range between 2% and 10%. So anything over 10% is extremely good and extremely beneficial for having a video succeed. Next, look at watch time, which is much higher than the typical range I'd get when I wasn't applying these steps. And same goes for my average view duration. If all these steps aren't completed, the likelihood your video gets pushed by the algorithm falls and gets reduced drastically. Now, if I compare these statistics to a video that didn't do so well, there's a high probability one of these three steps wasn't actually achieved. Notice 26.1% of the views came from YouTube recommending my content, unlike the 78.3% from my other video. So I can infer that something is off. That means either my watch time, average view duration, or click-through rate is lower than where it should be. Now, if we look, watch time and my average view duration actually seem to be good. So that leaves only one thing left, click-through rate. And there's the culprit, only 4.6% click-through rate at the start of the video. This is why YouTube wasn't interested in pushing the video and why it actually failed. Now, if over time that video manages to creep up to a 10% or 12 or 14% click-through rate, like it's trying to do, will it actually get pushed by the algorithm then? Uh, that I'm not so sure, and we'll have to wait and see. So with that being said, this is what Matt Armstrong's three-step secret formula is to going viral 
on YouTube. So if you need to watch this video again, feel free to do so. And if you want to see the fruits of his labor, then make sure to watch my video on how rebuilding supercars made Matt Armstrong a millionaire. Just click right here. Peace.